So we'll come before our Lord now and looking at Isaiah chapter 42, verses 5 to 8. <clears throat> Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and its offspring, who gives breath to the people of it and spirit in those who walk in it. I am the Lord, I have called you in righteousness, I will also hold you by the hand and watch over you. And I will appoint you as a covenant to the people and as a light to the nations to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the dungeon and those who dwell in darkness from the prison. I am Yahweh, that is my name, and I will not give my glory to another, nor my praise to graven images. So you see within that passage there, and it fits well with 1 Peter where it talks about the prophets of old prophesying. Clearly this is one of those passages that does that, that's why I chose it. And it talks about, uh, you see there, the Messiah who would be a light to the nations and he would bring the prisoner out of captivity, etc. And so that uh, when we look to our Lord we know that there was no surprise about the coming of the Messiah. God had planned and purposed it and it had to come about because of the salvation of mankind was not going to come about any other way. So let's come before our Lord in prayer. For our Lord and our God, we do come before you and we are a people who are blessed. Yes, Lord God, we are truly a people who can come before you to worship you, the living God. And as we do so, we pray that you be with us this day and uh, folks who can't be here, Lord, we pray for them. But it is good that we uh, can uh, come and uh, Lord, that they may be here in spirit, even though not physically. And may this be a blessed time of worship as we seek to give you the praise and all the glory and the honour, O Lord. And that as we uh, come before you, the living God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, uh, Lord, that, that we are reminded that we can come no other way except to the Lord Jesus, for he is the way, the truth and the life. And no one can come to you, our Father in heaven, except to him. We thank you, O Lord, that we have this privilege. We thank you for the way in which you have brought us into your presence. We thank you, Father God, too, that, uh, that this is a time that we can lift our voices up in praise and we can bring our prayers before you. And Lord, we can, we can hear, we can hear again the things of yourself. So be with us, I pray, and accept our worship. For we come in the name of Jesus and uh, the one who went to the cross of Calvary to bring about our salvation and forgiveness of sins. And we do ask that you forgive us of any fresh sins that, that we, O oh Lord, have committed, that have in word, deed, thought, whatever it might be, Lord, that, that you forgive us because uh, we are a people who, who desire to be holy as you are, yet, Lord, <coughs> we do fall short. And uh, so we do pray that you would um, Lord, forgive us of our sins, that we may worship you in spirit and in truth. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we ask all of these things. Amen. Let's stand and sing praise to our Lord, shall we? The Lord is King. It's in our, uh, in our mission, praise 656. <coughs> The Lord is a great mighty King, over the Lord ye hands rejoice. From world to world the joy shall ring, the Lord of importance is He. The Lord is King, who then shall dare resist His will, distrust His care. For murmur at his wise decrees, or doubt his royal promises. The Lord is King, child of the dust, the judge of all the earth is just. Holy and true are all his ways, let every creature speak his praise. He reigns, ye saints, exalt your strength. Your God is King, your Father reigns. And He is at the Father's side, the man of love and crucified. The Lord, one empire all secures. He reigns and life and death are yours. Through earth and heaven one. 
by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven things into which angels long to look. And may the Lord bless us with understanding of his word in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's just uh, bow in prayer, shall we? Father, we thank you for your word, and it is a, a great privilege to have it. But we are mindful now, too, Lord God, that there are many in this world who don't have that opportunity of picking up the word of God and reading it. And uh, Lord, we uh, have prayed that uh, that work of uh, Bible translation work would uh, continue to increase and grow, and many people might have the word in their in their hands, but. Even so, Father, we know that the gospel has gone to the four corners of this earth, so to speak, and that, uh, that the, uh, many people have heard and then have turned and walked away, and many have heard and cried out for mercy and repented and believed the Lord Jesus. So, Lord, it is, uh, it is something that continues. And we do pray. We pray, Lord God, where, where your word is being uh, proclaimed effectively, that uh, Lord, you would uh, you would take that word and you would uh, you would, uh, would bring souls into the kingdom of God, and uh, we live in a nation here in this country, Father God, where we we are troubled by the fact that there seems to be a, a decrease in people's desire to look to the Lord God Almighty, and so Lord God, I, I would pray, I would pray for our nation. Yes, there are wars around the world. There's rumours of wars and all sorts of things that are continuing to go on, and we are troubled by all those things and. Lord, um, we, we, we pray particularly for your people uh, in the likes of, of Ukraine, where the, where the Russians have gone in and shut down the Christian churches who aren't Orthodox. Yes, it troubles us. We, we pray for our brothers and sisters. But in this nation, Lord God, there is a spiritual battle that's going on for the souls of people. And, and Lord God, as your people here, we would pray. We would pray for the souls of your people here. And, uh, and then we ask, O oh, Father God, that your people would be uh, with those who would stand upon the truth of your word and unashamedly show forth the light of Christ in this, uh, what seems to be an ever-increasing dark world. Lord God, where this opposition, which is spiritual, not flesh and blood, oh no, it's manifest perhaps in flesh and blood, but it's, it's Lord, we are, we're in a battle all the same, right in this very nation. We don't need to look at war somewhere else. Uh, we have one right on our doorstep here. And we are part of it, O oh, Lord God. And we do pray that we'd be, we'd be wise enough to know, Father God, that this is not something that's going to stop ever until Jesus comes back. Mm. And that, Lord, you would strengthen us as warriors in Christ to be uh, those who would stand firm, be steadfast and immovable, and always abounding in the work of the Lord, our God, knowing that in the Lord our labour is never in vain. And we pray for your church in this nation, those who are truly in Christ, and pray, Father God, for the, uh, for the establishment of the Word of God more and more, and uh, that we'll be standing firm with the Word of God, and not ashamed of it in any way, not putting it aside and not, not compromising it, for it is the truth. It is the truth. There is no other truth. And so, Father God, we, uh, we cry to you now, and ask as part of your, part of your church here in this nation, Lord, that we, we would remain firm, and that, that we would show forth the light of Christ to those around us, and that your word, O oh Father, would bear the fruit that you would have it to bear. And use us, we pray, in your kingdom's work for your glory. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen.